Hey guys, and welcome to my reaction to the next episode of Arcane. Okay, um, I felt like the first episode was not only just really stunning with the animation and just the style and the music and everything like that, but I think that there's a lot of really good potential for these characters, the story, everything, so I'm very, very excited to continue. Let's get into it. Hello? Is someone in there? Hey, open up! Oh, no. I would think I was tripping balls like a lot. Okay, what on earth? What in the world? What? Okay. Aha! Okay, we're learning a little bit more. We're, get, we're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. Okay. Oh no! Oh! Hello! Hello! Imprisonment! What a curious principle! I believe I've discovered something truly incredible. A way to harness magic through science. Wow. Magic! The arcane is dangerous, Jace. A force of nature. Science oh. cannot control it. But maybe it can. But speak nothing of magic. Do that and I theorize you'll get away with, um, how do you say, a slap on the wrist. Interesting. If she didn't keep fixing these things, I wouldn't keep missing. Maybe just don't take powder next time. Oh no, 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 no. Oh no, sweetheart. Oh, great. It cannot happen here, my boy. He must be banished from the tower. Oh! 
but as a mother, I have a voice that matters deeply. Oh. My son isn't in his right mind. Oh. His entire life he's chased Mom. an impossible dream. I move that Chase be summarily expelled from the academy and remanded to the care of his parents. There's a monster inside all of us. What? No. No, no, it'll kill me. I had a feeling that's where this was going. Mm -hmm. Very important secret I learned when I was about your age, boy. I wouldn't want to hear it. It comes to those who will do anything to achieve it. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's uh, time to uh, let the monster uh, out. Uh, uh. Well, now this can't be good. This can't be good. He's gonna. Oh, oh boy. Um. I think that's all kinds of not good. Mm -hmm. My dad says you're a misfit. No. We can't be friends anymore. Oh no! So why are you out here? I'm a misfit too, I suppose. What will you do? I'm sorry. I just wanted to explain. I think you've done enough. <gasps> oh, I feel bad. I feel bad. You I said mean, this I'm, was a robbery. I feel Did bad. Did they take anything dangerous? Don't you think we've pushed them hard enough? Do whatever it takes. Turn the embassy upside down if you have to. Just find them. <sighs> Frustrating. Welcome to the last drop. Oh, is it? Oh, boy. Oh, I love that. Cute little monkey. Creepy little monkey. He had some stories. You weren't always the peacekeeper, were you? No, he wasn't. It'd be a shame if I had to put them on again. Colonel Stallings, well, it's hard to clean. That's right, you're gonna get him. Hold it, sweetie, 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 sweetie. You got it, you got it, you got it. Will you leave? My God, close the door. Oh, would you look at that? Can't find anything, bye. You think you're standing up for something? But we all know there is a crime behind every coin that passes through this place. And why do you think that is? You're just a small man in a little hole the world forgot to bury. And I'm gonna bury the lot of you. Wow. Wow. You heard him, they won't stop. We need to fight back. Oh. I will. I think she means I've it. I've heard this kind of talk before. I assume he heard this kind of talk and that led to the opening sequence of the show, maybe. Why are we here? I grew up knowing I'm less than them. That my place is down there. Oh. I want Powder to have more than that, and I'm willing to fight for it. Oh, girl. So was I. If I hadn't, your parents would still be alive. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. That's I what know I... you want to hurt the top sides for what they've done to us. But who are you willing to lose? Milo? Clanger? Powder? Oh, it's Nobody tough. Nobody wins in war, Vi. I'll figure it out. Oh. My whole heart. My whole heart. I feel so bad for both of them. I Okay. Whew! Oh my god! Whoa, 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 whoa. I, I literally just processed what the fuck. Dude. Dude! No, 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 Sweetheart. Sweetheart. I get it. I, but it's not, this is not it. This is not it. Am I gonna- You're gonna allow- The hell's your problem? The lives it could save. You've no idea how beautiful it is. No one believed me. 
Oh. When you're going to change the world, don't ask for permission. Damn. Well, I much prefer that to him Why? jumping off and ending his life. The reason the lanes are gonna fight. They're gonna work this time. I know it. Get it, girl. You know, Powder, what makes you different makes you strong. Do you have any idea what you've done? I was getting results. You heard the council. Maybe it's not too late. Oh boy. Well, what's going on? Oh my god! Oh my god! I was like, how did they stop it there? Oh, I'm tearing up. Oh, goodness me. I don't need to. Okay. I can truly see why people wanted me to react to this because it just seems so character focused. I mean, the plot is really interesting too, don't get me wrong. Like, it's not, you know, not that that's lacking, but just it. I, the, I, I'm feeling things for these characters. I'm feeling things for these characters. And what is really great about um, shows that that do character work really well, and I know I'm only two episodes in, but um, is that you really, you feel a lot for a good portion of the characters. Um, and I, there was a lot of, I just had a lot of sympathy, like this whole time. I talked at the end of the last reaction, obviously, about Vi and Vander, them, you know, and, and the different approaches. And I love that he was able to, in this episode, kind of really explain to her exactly why. You know, oh, and I was, you know what I was glad about? Because I thought when they said, when, uh, Echo, I'm trying to learn the names, okay? I'm trying to learn the names. I'm good. We'll see. But um, when he said, oh, he struck a deal with the, you know, whatever, I thought that would have been one of those plot lines that was going to drag on a bit. Um, and be, you know, be a thing and, and and a lot more of a blow up or of a fight or, you know, whatever. But it was a very, almost, like, fairly adult conversation that, that Vi and Vander had and where he kind of explained what he was going through and, and what he's done in the past. I think he sees a lot of himself in her. Maybe not, but I, I think that the, there's a strong possibility he does. And he was he was like that, and he was like, this is all so unfair. And when there's this, like, injustice happening, you, all you want to do is fix it and fight for it. And that, typically, that's what you're supposed to do. You know? Um, against all odds, that's what you're supposed to do, you're supposed to fight, you're supposed to, you know, um, do what's right, you know, on, on, to, to play devil's advocate to his points, and I think he has, he has points, so don't, you know, don't come for me or anything like that, because I, I, I totally get what, he, why he's doing what he's doing, and, him trying to protect people more so than, you know, becoming a, a peacekeeper, so to speak. But, you know, what's the point of keeping people alive if they're living in such horror, right? Now, that might be an exaggeration, but, you know, I'm just bringing up points here. You know what I mean? Um, because there's the attitude that he used to have and that Vi has and, and everything is... is um, you have you you have to fight if you want something. You have to fight for these people that are being told that they're less than, that they're not important. But you know something that he actually kind of got through to her, which is, I thought, a very beautiful moment. I love their relationship. Oh, Lord, do I love their relationship. But that he he kind of was able to get through to her is just like, yeah, I did that. I did that. I led a bunch of people across this bridge, 
and everybody, not everybody, maybe he, I don't know if he was like the only person who made it out alive or just a couple people or whatever it was, but people died. People that he cared about, you know, whatever. I, and he's trying his best. Ugh. I like that he wasn't fucking around though with that, that guy that was interrogating him at the bar because he, he, he was like, listen. I like that it's not a, he is really trying to keep people alive, I think. And it's not like a naive, cowardly thing. It's a, this is, this is what you have to do when people rely on you, when people, I don't know. I, I, I really like his character. Um, I'm very concerned about where that's going to go with Vi and everything like that. Oh, I was tearing up. I was feeling, I was feeling things. Um, oh goodness. I, and I loved, um, the very sweet moment between Vi and Powder as well, you know, saying that, that I don't know, it's just a very, very sweet moment and kind of as much of a possible goodbye that she could, she could do. I mean, not, not necessarily a goodbye, but you know what I mean? Um, I really like them as th their relationship together too. And the just immense love between the two. You know, and that was one of the things that actually got through to, to, to Vi is, you know, when he was like, what are you, are you willing to risk Powder's life? You know, you can see that Vi not only is protective of Powder, but I think she, she really believes in her, has faith in her, and wants her to, you know, do great things. And that's where a lot of the frustration is coming from. She's like, I, I want her to have the opportunities that, you know, that, that she deserves. She's so smart and she, she can fix things and she's inventing things. She's doing all this, you know, stuff. And I think Vi feels like, you know, Powder's talents are wasted, so to speak. So I, I, I love, I love that, um, as well. Um, now, I loved in the beginning of this kind of learning a little bit more so arcane. I figured <laughs> I had a moment where I was like, oh, that's what, you know, what the, the show is called. Um, but I loved kind of talking about the magic, why it's dangerous, and everything like that. So, Jace, Jace, I believe that's his name. I do feel bad for him as well. I hope that he doesn't fall into shenanigans and shady people, which I'm, you know, you never know. Um, but I also love the fact that, you know, you're, you feel bad for him because this heist happened and then d d his whole world turned upside down. And you can tell that his intention is to help people. He realizes that magic can actually help people. There are a lot of things, you know, he, he mentioned, you know, that the magic saved his mom and, you know, he, uh, you can tell, right, um, that he has these, these good intentions. Um, and you can see, uh, when they were kind of talking about what are the risks of magic? you know, if there has been a history of people kind of abusing magic, abusing power, and that leading to a lot of disastrous situations, then then it's, it's kind of interesting. I love how um, you can feel really bad for Jace, but you also are like, yeah, I mean, maybe it could be dangerous. Um, but I think he, he, has, he has good intentions. I certainly did not want him to jump off and off himself, anything like that, um, because of this, because you never know where life's going to take you. You really never know. Um, and uh, you know, from now on, he might be going on a good path or a bad path. I'm not entirely sure. I don't know about this Victor guy. We'll have to see where that's going to go. Um, but 
nonetheless, I loved um, kind of the the explanation, you know, because it was really funny in the, in the first episode. I was just watching and I was like, whew, I don't know. I mean, I have faith that they were going to explain kind of more of the, the lore, the universe, the logistics of, you know, everything going on. And, you know, it's unfolding over time. I'm learning a little bit more every single episode. Um, yeah. But, uh, so I was actually very happy to get that information and everything like that. And they do a really good job, I have to say, of showing this world, showing what's going on in this world, showing things about the magic and, and everything going on that's not, you know, a ton of just somebody just reciting it to, you know, they're, they're showing it in kind of cool and interesting ways and everything like that. So I'm very uh, excited to, to see what's happening with that. Um, everything with this, what was the kid's, the, the, well, the kid, oh God, I don't know their names. The bad guys. Now, listen, there's probably various bad guys, but you, the ones that are injecting shit, in, or, or not injecting shit, but he drank the thing, that's going to be a situation. That's going to be a whole situation. Not good. You know, and uh, I don't know if they were exactly who Vander was speaking of when Vander said, you know, um, there's we have a bigger threat. I'm paraphrasing. Cause I think it was in the last episode, but he said something like, we have bigger threats than, um, than the, the enforcers or the, the, whatever. I have a feeling he was talking about that guy or people like that guy. I don't know what's going on there, but I can almost bet it's not good. Understand kind of when you're in a, a really tough situation, what is the best approach? And everybody kind of has a different, a different approach. Um, oh, I really like it. I really, really like it. I'm very nervous about what happens next, but you know, um, so far it's been really brilliant. And of course, again, uh, the animation's gorgeous and really lovely. I've, um, I've enjoyed it a lot so far. All right, if you would like to support me on Patreon or subscribe, I would really appreciate it. But if not, I'm just happy that you are here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.